Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is one I never thought I would do. This is four years since I dyed my hair. My hair has been completely natural, probably for about two and a half years. Um, so today's video is basically a catch up about my grey hair grow out journey and what products I use, how I maintain my hair now, how I found the grow out, how I find it now, all of that good stuff. So if that's something that you're interested in, just keep on watching. I'm weirdly really proud of this moment, video, whatever, because I'm a bit of a commitment phobe. I can never commit to anything. And obviously in 2020, when the pandemic hit, none of us expected our lives to change the way that they have and have just stayed well, all of our lives are different now and they will always be different and i literally was due to have my roots dyed the week the pandemic took hold then i thought okay i'll just wait a couple of weeks it'll only be a couple of weeks of lockdown right then it became a bit longer and a bit longer and i just kept on waiting and in the end I just decided to grow my hair out because um, it gave me something to do. I started documenting it on here. I'll add the playlist here of all of my grow out updates um, and it was it was an emotional journey and I'm really proud that I still haven't dyed my hair four years on and uh, let me tell you why I haven't. Firstly, just look at it. Like, I'm sorry, I don't mean to blow my own trumpet, but I love my hair colour. Like, I know it's not completely grey. I've had some hate comments, people being like, you're not grey, your hair's brown, blah, blah, blah. This front bit is most definitely grey. The rest of it, agreed, is very dark brown. But you can tell that I have grey hair, was my point. And when I grew out my hair, as you can see, it's all the front. So before I started to grow my hair out and I was dying it every six weeks, I was dying it every six weeks because I thought I was totally grey because all I could see was this front bit. And as you can see, the front bit is most definitely grey. So you've seen all my updates. I'm not going to bore you with the details of how I found the journey, but there were certain points where I was like, oh my God, I just feel like I've let myself go. Um, my hair looks awful, like, especially when it got to like this point, because it, nobody could really tell what you were doing. Although it was the pandemic and everybody was growing out their gray hair, there was a bit more of a community around it, but I still felt a little bit just shabby. And I, I put my hair up a lot because when I kind of did this, it looked like my hair was like more grey than it was or I could hide it a bit better. And I became quite inventive with it. I cut my hair um, quite early on to a really short bob to kind of help the grow out process, which really helped. And it made my hair really healthy. Um, sorry, Doris is kicking off. Um, and yeah, I just, I loved the journey. I'm glad that I didn't dye it tonally to make it, grow out faster I'm glad that I committed to the process I mean whatever works for you like you do it but um honestly I'm just really pleased that it's over and I'm just so pleased that I love my hair and a lot of my silver sisters that I found on Instagram they love their hair too I will link some of their pages below their Instagram pages because not all of them have YouTube but um if you're considering growing out your hair I couldn't recommend it enough. So I'm going to talk you through some of the products that I use now that um, my hair is totally natural because I don't need as many products anymore. That's a massive bonus. When your hair is dyed and is damaged, you need to put loads of stuff into it to make it healthier. Now, it's not necessary. First up, really important, a good shampoo and conditioner. Now, these I have used for years, not just because of my grey hair, but these are the Philip Kingsley Bodybuilding Shampoo and Moisture Balancing Conditioner. These are amazing. Philip Kingsley is a trichology brand, so they're not hairstylists, they're hair scientists. And these two just work so perfectly for my hair. Every time I use the shampoo, my hair is just squeaky clean and super voluminous. The, the conditioner just really 
conditions without weighing my hair down and I use these pretty much every time I wash my hair. I do change it up a little bit. I have a purple shampoo that I use um, just to kind of get the yellow tones out of my hair and I haven't bought that to show you because I'm not loyal. At the moment I'm just using the Aussie one because it's was on special but I haven't found one yet that I really like enough but what I do love is the Way Detox Shampoo. I use that once a week and I think that that really helps to brighten up my greys as well. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend those. And for a weekly treatment, again, not just because of grey hair, but just because of hair in general, it's the Philip Kingsley Elasticizer. This is a one litre pouch but this is a pre-shampoo conditioning treatment. So you put it on before you shampoo your hair. Now this needs to stay on the hair for at least 15 minutes before you wash it. So there are a few ways that I incorporate this into my beauty routine. So for me, I, <coughs> excuse me, I wet my hair down with a, like a plant, um, a plant sprayer thing, and I brush my hair through then I take a decent amount of this and I put it through the mid lengths and ends and then I run whatever's left through the top of the head and then I put it into a bun and I either go to the gym uh, with it so it's on for like an hour. On a Sunday I go to the gym then I do my food shop afterwards so I try to put it on for as long as I can possibly leave it and then when I come home from the gym I then obviously shower, wash my hair and we're done. So that's what I've done today. This is my hair freshly elasticized and washed. Now my hair hasn't had a cut for nearly four months. It's due a cut in two weeks time. Um, but honestly, the Philip Kings, the elasticizer is amazing. It basically puts like elastic into your hair so that when you blow dry it and you use the tension with the brush, your hair stretches and it doesn't snap. Honestly, I've been using this now for like six or seven years and my hair is so healthy. I mean, I could never get my hair this long when I was younger, ever. And even now, I've got a cut in two weeks time, like no, next, next Saturday I've got a cut and I'm just gonna trim it. And I thought by now that I'd have gotten to the point where I'm like, oh God, it looks a bit straggly, like it needs a good cut. No, I'm keeping going. I'm gonna be keep growing it, guys. I really, really love it. And I think it looks super healthy. And then if you haven't got time for an elasticizer, if you just want an in-shower mask, my favorite one is the L'Oreal LV Dream Links mask. This you leave on for like four minutes in the shower. So I usually use it once a week um, if I'm gonna shave my legs and stuff, however long you're gonna be in the shower for, whatever you need to do, stay in there longer, put this on. So I wash my face, I wash my hair, I don't use conditioner with this one. I use this as the conditioner. So I wash my face, wash my hair, pop this on as a conditioner, have a wash, shave my legs, do all that stuff. And then it's good to come off and your hair is like silk afterwards. Absolutely glorious. Then all I do after that now is just follow with a hair oil. This one, as you can see, is well loved. This is the Kerastase Elixir Ultime. And it just says, let me see if I can find the English one straight away. Versatile beautifying oil for dull hair seeking shine. Infused with sacred marula oil, apply, apply one to two pumps on wet hair or dry, leave in. So I apply this to towel dried hair. At the, the length my hair is now, I use two pumps of it just through the mid lengths and ends. Obviously don't apply it to the roots because your hair, it's an oil, it will make it look oily. But to the mid lengths and ends and then blow dry the hair, oh, it's just... Well, again, it, I did it this morning. Super shiny, super healthy. I absolutely love it. That's all I put on my hair now. I do have some styling products, but I didn't want to bother showing you because I rarely use them. I've got the Way um, volumizing hairspray, which I put on if I'm going out, out, uh, or the Batiste texturizing spray or the Way texturizing spray. Um, the Batiste one, sadly, has now been discontinued, but the Way one is very expensive so I rarely use it to be honest but I do have them but every day my hair just kind of looks like this sometimes I put side uh, the side a side part sometimes I put the center part like now but in general this is how my hair looks pretty much every single day so the pros to not dyeing your hair obviously money guys 
you save so much money. Um, my hair cut now, I get my hair cut four times a year and I go to Tony and Guy, so each hair cut's like 75 quid and I don't mind spending that money because at the end of the day I get a really decent cut and um, I don't have to spend any more money on my hair. That is literally all I spend on, these few products and a good haircut. Um, plus the time, you save so much time. Like the amount of hours I spent in a hairdresser's chair just to get my greys covered up makes me really angry now because I literally used to just get my roots done and it used to cost me 40 pounds every six weeks. Um, I, to be honest, I haven't noticed the extra money because it just goes on other stuff, but um, it's there, it's been saved and you can use it on other stuff. So winning. <laughs> Another bonus is you look different to other people. Now, it, I do feel there's a bit of a community with the Silver Sisters and the Silver Hair community because it does take courage to do this. It takes guts to be naturally grey because society tells you it's bad. Society tells you if you're grey, you're old. I'm 45, I don't feel old, I don't think I look old. I felt I looked older when my hair was almost black, really severe. This is my natural hair colour and I've said it in every single one of these videos. Mother Nature will never let you down. What your natural colour is, that is what you're meant to have. It will not not suit you. Okay, greys are different because it's like you're lose, you've lost the pigment from your hair colour. But it still suits your face. Your shade of grey is not going to be the same as anybody else's. And once you've done it, guys, you've done it. Like now, if I wanted to dye my hair, which I wouldn't, um, if my hair just goes a lot grayer, it will just happen. It's not, I never have to grow this out again. I am done. That feels really, really good. And it was done during the pandemic where nobody saw me. Like, I think after we went back to work, it was like after a year. So my hair was probably like, down to here, natural. And I think at that point I had the bob to like there. So in that like in that last two years, obviously I've had trims and stuff, but it's grown like this much. It literally takes, it took me two years from start to finish um, to grow it out, which isn't bad. If you, are, if you have a full head of grey hair, I do understand it might be more challenging if you have a full-time job or if you have to go to meetings and stuff, but you know what, you can make it work. Nobody these days now sees it as a negative thing. They just go, oh, that's cool. It's, it's changed, everything has changed, which is brilliant. I'm glad that mindset has changed. You still get some idiots online that will be mean, like, oh, you look old, dye your hair. I mean, it is. But in general, um, I'm, I'm here for it. I absolutely love it. I really hope that this video helps you to make a decision to try it. Listen, at the end of the day, if you grow your hair out a little bit, you don't like it, just colour over it. You have nothing to lose, literally nothing. And if the months that you don't dye your hair, save that money, put it away somewhere and put it towards something nice. Like I bought, um, I initially saved up my money and I bought my Gucci handbag. I'll link the video here. I ditched the dye and bought my dream bag. My dream bag was 975 pounds. It's a lot of money, but in two years, I was able to save that money that I would have been dyeing my hair with. So it was kind of a free bag. <laughs> work with me that's how I justified it but yeah do whatever you need to do just realize that you will still be stunning with grey hair you will still be confident and happy if anything it's made me more confident because I'm not hiding anymore like this is me this is what I look like um my boyfriend really likes it I feel like initially it took him a little while to get on board because guys oh, I find that men, they like what they like. Um, and, you know, he doesn't particularly fancy women with grey hair. I understand, I get it. But now it's like, oh, it's really cool because I've 
made it cool for me. I, I haven't suddenly started putting my hair in rollers and like walking around, you know, like being with a blue rinse or whatever. Like I'm still young, I'm still me. I just have a different hair color. Plus makeup, like now, the colors that I've got on this bright pink lipstick, which I know you're gonna ask, so I'll tell you the combination. It's a NYX lip liner in the shade, I can't even find it, Rosy Sunset. And the lipstick is a Maybelline uh, Fuchsia for me. And it's like one of the Fit Me, Fit Me range or something. It's like, it's meant to be a pink that suits everyone. And I couldn't ever find a pink that suited me. And you know what? It really works. So I love those two. Uh, yeah, so that's um, Fuchsia for me and Rosy Sunset. So I love like brighter makeup now. Um, it's spring, so I feel like I can dig out the brights. Um, I just feel a lot more confident with it. And I really want to inspire other women to do the same thing. Hi, Doris. Sorry, my cat's just decided to jump on my lap. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoy. Say hello. Hi. <gasps> She's looking out the window. It's a, it's a first day of spring and it's very exciting for Doris because everyone's cutting their grass. So she's too excited. Right guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. You take care.